Hey, I'm Julie and I am a dill pickle addict. So this is my favorite time of year because there's so many things in the grocery store in the produce department that I can pickle. Especially these beautiful little cucumbers from the Cucumber Man in Red Cliff. He has such fantastic stuff, little tomatoes, little English little English little English cucumbers. I'm sure he has computers too. But I like these little knobbly ones that are perfect for dill pickles. So if you've never made dill pickles before, it's actually really, really easy to make them. These aren't fermented dill pickles, they're just refrigerator dill. So super easy, all you need is some vinegar. Now you can use regular white vinegar. This is a pickling vinegar, which is 7% acetic acid. Uh, regular white vinegar is 5%, so it's a little bit more potent, it's got a little bit more pucker, but you can use either one. And this is just available with the vinegars in the vinegar section. Uh, some coarse salt, and then whatever seasoning spices you wanna do. Um, garlic, always a good idea. Just a couple of peeled cloves, throw them in your jars. If you have some fresh dill, of course, that's a classic, even if it's kind of sad and wilty like this. Um, pickling spices, you can add just a, a few to each jar if you like to. Now these are sour pickles, so they're not, um, there's no sugar in them. Just the vinegar and water. Okay, so take your dill, take your garlic, put it into your jars. These are just fresh from the dishwasher, so nice and clean, still a little bit warm. And then what you wanna do is take your cucumbers, make sure that they're still nice and snappy. They're not bendy. If they're bendy, you're gonna have sort of rubbery pickles. Uh, make sure you wash them, maybe I'll go wash them. And cut. Okay, so. Starting with your bigger ones. Actually, you know what, the really big ones, I'm gonna cut into spears. But starting with your, your bigger ones, if you wanna do whole dills, just pack them as tightly into the jars as you can. And if you finish with the small ones, you can kinda of tuck the small ones into the, into the empty spaces. They're gonna shrink a little bit, so you can really pack them in there. There we go, so there's one. The other ones I'm gonna do as spears. So just cut them into quarters lengthwise. And then if you keep them together, when you put them in, they'll stay a little bit more crunchy. These are also perfect for bread and butter pickles, which are just made with sugar in the, in the brine. So for bread and bu butter, you would just take a pickle and cut it into slices. See, bread and butter pickles. And that's super easy to do too. I'm gonna actually post a recipe for those because they are super delicious. So fill your jars, and this is the kind of recipe that really you don't need a dozen jars. You don't need to make tons of pickles. You can just make a couple jars of pickles and you don't have to spend all day doing that. Okay. So there, two jars ready to go. Now we're going to go and simmer the vinegar and water. So the ratio is four cups of water to two and three quarters of a cup of vinegar and a third of a cup of salt. I'm going to cut it in half because I'm not doing very much. So I'll fill my one third cup up halfway. And all we want to do is uh, bring it to a simmer just to dissolve the salt. So it'll be kind of cloudy at first. So one and about halfway between two and a half. There we go. So we're gonna simmer it. It's gonna go from cloudy to clear as the salt dissolves. And as soon as it dissolves, it's good to go. See that's cloudy? Make a vortex, a vinegar vortex. Look, it's only been two minutes and we're already halfway done our batch of pickles. This is also super fun to do with kids, by the way. If, uh, if you have little kids around, they love to stuff the cucumbers and the dill and the garlic into the jars while you simmer. Here. Now, if you want to do sweeter pickles, 
Just add some sugar to the, the brine and you'll have sweet pickles. Okay. Salt is pretty much dissolved already. Because it's coarse, you can see it sort of settling in the bottom. But look, oh, a little tiny bit in there. Ta-da! See, that took like a minute. All right, a little bit more. Get a towel. And then all you need to do is pour it over your pickles. You want to leave about a half a teaspoon, <laughs> half an inch. You want to leave about a half an inch of headspace at the top. And then, if you want to process them for longer storage and keep them on your shelf, don't those look pretty? You can process them by sealing them up and processing them in a hot water bath. So in a hot water canner uh, covered with water, you want the water to cover the jars by about an inch and process them for 10 minutes exactly 10 minutes you don't want to go over otherwise the pickles will start to cook and they're going to get kind of rubbery and bendy so you can process them for longer storage for about 10 minutes then cool them and you can keep them on your shelf otherwise put them in your fridge try not to open them for at least a week but uh, if you can wait three or four even better and look you made dill pickles you're so awesome happy day